thought I'd give you a little note on how to do Ackley headspace. This question comes up pretty frequently. Uh, what we have here is a standard set of 280 Remington uh, headspace gauges. Now what you do is you take your standard set of gauges, you're going to take the go gauge from the standard set. This is now your no-go for the Ackley process. Now it's also a good idea to match up the brands uh, because we can run into a problem called tolerance stacking. And tolerance stacking is where you use uh, products from different companies. Sometimes they don't hold the same specifications and consequently you might run into a situation where the gauges um, are the same length or they just don't match up properly and you get false headspace. So it's important to try and get the same brand whenever you can. When we ship them out we always measure uh, the gauges to make sure that they are going to work together. Um, so sometimes you'll get them mismatched from us but believe we have checked them in advance. If you're concerned about that all you have to do is measure the length uh, on the shoulder at the datum line to the head and compare them and the, the go gauge for the Ackley Improved should be 4,000 shorter than the go gauge for the uh, standard. The difference between the two gauges is exactly the same as it would be in the standard set. There's 4,000 difference between them. The Ackley gauge being slightly shorter. The purpose of that to give you proper headspace with factory ammunition. So um, I'm going to show you a couple drawings to give you a little more clear vision of this. But just keep in mind that uh, your Ackley gauge is shorter than your go gauge for your standard set. So the, the go gauge is now your no-go.